hydro dipping, the process of applying art to virtually any product, from rims to electronics to even sneakers. Hydro dipping allows you to customize shoes, such as this Air Force One that we're about to show you in this video, which will allow you to monetize the artwork that you're creating for your brands and your other products. But more importantly, it'll allow you to dive into the multi-billion dollar sneaker industry, and more importantly, the resale industry that continues to grow. So in this video, we're gonna dive into those details. We're gonna show you how to actually customize your own shoe to this extent. I'm not talking about just a regularly dumped random pattern. I'm talking about bringing your artwork to life. All right, so if you enjoy this type of content, hit that subscribe button down below, turn on post notifications, and let's head on out. To really help you understand hydro dipping and sneaker customization, I wanna introduce you to the man Akeem with New Life Kicks. He's been in the sneaker game for over a decade, and he will be walking us through how to hydro dip shoes the right way. Before we get into it, Akeem explains why sneaker customization is on the rise. When it okay. comes to customization, uh, people want to get a custom that is unlike anything anybody else has seen. So mm -hmm. we, we create one-of-one -one customs. You know, you want to stand out, you don't want to blend in with everyone else. So you come to us and then we can bring you bring to life almost anything. Yeah. Man, so the purpose of this video was to hydro dip a shoe, right? Yeah. Which is also something that's very unique and rare the way that we're going to show it. Mm -hmm. So what I want to do now is just head on out to the car and actually get this whole thing started. Yeah. Let's get to it. it. To start the hydro dipping process, we recommend you head over to a hardware store like Lowe's to pick up the materials. To accomplish this, you're going to need a 10 gallon clear bucket, masking tape, clear coat, and an X-Acto knife. The Hydro Dip Activator is actually the only thing we had to buy online, and we'll link it in the description of the video. What's up, you guys? We just made it into the home studio. What's the going on? King What's going here? on, bro? Man, check this out. He brought some special gifts here. What yeah, is this? check this out. This is the hydrographic film that we're going to be using to dip the Air Force One. This is a design inspired by Takashi. I'm sure you guys have seen this before. This is amazing. This man, is really cool. Yeah, this yeah. Awesome. Huge shout outs to the man Vector Chef, who actually came up yes. and made this vector for us yes. in collaboration for what shoe are we using? We're gonna be using the classic Air Force One. Oh dude, this is man. Playing. That's fresh. So then uh are we just gonna dip the whole shoe or what are you gonna uh, do? No, we're not gonna dip the whole shoe. We wanna add um, you know, create a, a, a design, you know, something that will resemble an official Nike release. Mm. You know, if anything, we want Nike to actually steal our ideas right. so they can give us credit for where they got it from. We are right. watching you, <laughs> So yeah, we're gonna do something different with each shoe, uh, just to give uh, like a different a perspective. Right. Yeah, yeah, right. different ideas of how you can actually dip an Air Force One. So this is like way different, because a lot of the hydro, dip, uh, hydro dipping videos out there, just they just dunk the entire shoe. Yeah. I've never actually seen someone do something custom like what Akeem's about to do. So yeah. you guys are gonna wanna check this out. So the first step to doing any custom is prepping the shoe. Uh, taking out the laces is included in prepping, but you want to prep removing the entire factory finish from the leather just to make sure your paint or whatever graphic you have can adhere to the surface. You can accomplish this task by actually using acetone and a cotton rag. All right, moving on to the next up, you're gonna need sandpaper. Prefer 1500 grit is very, very smooth. We're gonna use the sandpaper to add a little bit of texture so that the film will stick a little bit better. And be very careful not to sand too much or else you could damage the leather on the shoe. The second step is called the masking process. Now look, in the masking process, it's essentially going to tape off the areas that you do not want the hydrographic design to print on. All right, masking is also important to keep the shoe from getting wet. By using a plastic bag, you can ensure that the design only goes in the areas that you want, as well as prevent any water from going inside. This will allow you to transition into these next steps more efficiently and get custom shoes out a lot quicker. Step three is preparing the tank. All right, guys, this is gonna be important. 
The next step in the process is to actually get your water filled up in the tank that you purchased. Now, it's gonna be important that you guys use warm water as the hydrographic activator that we use requires water that is around 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, this is gonna be important, guys, because if you get the water too hot, it's not gonna adhere correctly. And if you get it too cold, same thing happens. So you wanna make sure that your temperatures are nice. And more importantly, you're also gonna wanna make sure that you test the film before applying it to the final product. I recommend you guys use some product laying around the house that allows you to test the and dip the process and ensure that it's actually gonna stick to it before you start dunking the shoes that you spent so much time preparing. Make sure that you guys use clean water as often as you can between each dip. Oh, dude, this is amazing. This is quality work right here. Thank you, man. Dude, Thank you. So many details went into just making sure that we're going to get this design on this checker and on this shoe, that design on just the back side. So I'm excited to see what the, what, what, what you're going to be doing right okay, now. Okay, so now we're in the, now we're about to dip. We're getting ready to dip and we're going to make sure that we size our film to correlate with the size of the panel that you'll be dipping. We won't need this entire film, so we're gonna cut it in half just to make sure we don't waste any. Tape the film firmly to something that you don't want the X-Acto knife to damage, like the lid that came from this tank. Tape each side of the film and cut it accordingly. Now a bonus tip here is to just kinda leave a little slit in between two or three sides of the tape, which will allow the film to expand and better adhere to your product. After letting the film hydrate for about 60 seconds, apply the activator. You will see the film turn into a glossy appearance, and now comes the fun part. Now you're going to want to make sure that you take your time here guys. Don't rush this process, and you're going to want to aim it correctly to center your placement of the design. Now a key here is to just make sure you look at which direction the design is going, so you don't get the smiley faces or a certain design upside down or going in the wrong direction. Patience is important here, guys. Think about it, test it on another product before you dip the final design. You want to make sure that you remove the masking quickly, being careful not to get any of the excess hydrographic design on a part of the shoe that you don't want. By removing the bag carefully, it also prevents you from spilling liquid into the shoe, which will delay your hydro dipping process. Now you want to let the shoe dry between each dip. All right, it's going to be important that you do this in order to let the shoe fully heal before dunking it into water again. Now this last part is completely optional, but it will allow you to truly create a one of a kind. Some tips here when it comes to the, using the Nike Air Force One, consider painting the Air logo, perhaps the actual font, and even the stitching. This will allow you to coordinate with the customization that you did through the hydro dipping. All right, you guys, now the final step of this process is to protect the design. Using the clear coat, you're gonna evenly spray it onto all the areas that you put your art. All right, this is gonna ensure that your art stays for life and your customers are happy. Check out the level of details that came into this shoe, guys. With hydro dipping, anything is possible. And of course, by adding a little bit of your artistic touch to those details, you can now resell sneakers for hundreds of dollars more than what you originally bought them for. And huge shout outs to having New Life Kicks on the channel. Thank you, thank you. And man. for you coming in here and showing that to everybody, man. It was, a, it was most definitely an honor, man. I appreciate you just uh, reaching out. Uh, I had a lot of fun creating this project and we hope to do a lot more. Like Dude, this, in the this, future. this is amazing work and for anybody that's out there that wants to get a hold of New Life Kicks, just make sure you hit that description of the video. It'll have the links there and we're actually going to give this one away. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to be giving this shoe away. If you guys follow us on Instagram, you'll be able to find out all the details you need to win this shoe. 
We're gonna be raffling them off for one dollar. One dollar can get you this customized shoe that we just created today. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the post notification bell to be alerted of the latest drops coming in this channel. And more importantly, leave a comment down below with a question you may have on a topic that we can cover in a future video. Appreciate you guys for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one.